All right, in step four of the Copper Again Lab, at the end of step three, we were left with a test tube that after putting it in the hot water bath, the solid changed from a, a bright dark blue to black, all right? Even a brownish black color, if you can see, it's hard to see in the video. And there's also liquid on top of it. Well, that liquid is actually water. So this is a combination of water and copper hydroxide, uh, copper oxide, excuse me. Um, I've centrifuged a test tube containing that substance because there's some remnants of sodium hydroxide present. And I um, centrifuge it, I decant it off the liquid. And then I rinsed it a couple different times with water and then I decanted that off, leaving behind just the black solid. So now in step four, after cleaning the precipitate, we are now gonna add six molar hydrochloric acid. Six molar hydrochloric acid is an acid, it's aqueous, it's an aqueous solution, and it is colorless. So we have a black solid and a colorless liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and add a small amount of HCl. You can already start to see a color change taking place. We'll stir it as we mix the acid together with it. As sometimes this takes up to a minute or so. As more and more of the copper solid dissolves. I'm starting to get closer now. All right. And there we can see now the color change that has taken place against the white background. So the black solid has been totally dissolved by the HCl forming the products. Again, when you read step four, the products of the reaction, including the reactants, are given to you in an unbalanced form. Um, it's always in the last paragraph of the steps. If you read step four, the reactants and products will be given to you. Now all you have to do is balance the equation. One last thing, when I feel the bottom of this test tube, it feels quite warm. It has gotten warm after the high HCl has dissolved the copper oxide, okay? So that is the color. You can see it's a the color of the solution, along with the fact that you can see through it now, right? It's not opaque. All right, so that's step four of the copper reaction.